a plunger. Yeah, it was a plunger. <laughs> hey, I don't understand it either, but that is what the coroner's report said. Yeah, I'm gonna email you a copy when I get back. <laughs> you know what those French people say. C'est la vie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what was the real reason you called me? No. No, I, I, I can't, actually. Well, it's because I'm on my way to my dad's funeral as we speak. No. No, I don't need your sympathy. I mean, it does suck. It's eaten into two weeks of my vacation time, and I only have that much left. Yeah, but guess he's gonna be there. Yeah, no, you know, you probably never heard of him. Okay. John Saxon. Yes! Yes, yes! He's totally a great actor, man. Totally underrated. Uh, uh, Cannibal Apocalypse. Enter the Dragon Black Christmas. The original, not that horrendous remake. And oh, 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 oh my personal favorite, Tenebrae. Yeah. Oh, you think I sound excited now? Wait until I get that guy's autograph. Yeah, I'd do anything to meet him. You know, uh, I'm not sure, actually. Well, my dad lived in Brooklyn for a while. Yeah, they probably met there. Been in, like, close contact for years. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, glad to see Darwinism hard at work. Jesus Christ. Hey man, your red tire's looking pretty bald. You should get that checked out.
great. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, do you have a cell phone I can use, right? You got one? Mine's broken. <laughs> do you have any water? Uh, no. This ain't no charity, kid. That makes no sense. Well, obviously my phone doesn't work. Think about it. It's a metaphor. What? Well, hiya, Sonny. Do you need a lift? Uh, no, actually. Do you have a jack? No. I'm Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, do you have a jack? No. Um, well, Greg, you wouldn't happen to know where the nearest town is, would you? Well, that'd be Metamine. But it really is a, quite a walk. Uh, but you're in luck. That's where I'm headed right now. Crazy how these things work out. Why, if I'd been any faster this morning, I would have missed you. You know, these things just don't happen by chance. He is a clever one, isn't he? Mm. <clears throat> Say, you do believe. Excuse me, uh, believe? In the Lord? I don't need a baby, sir. God bless. You know where you can buy a jack for like a car? I think Nate's has one. Nate's? Is that a store or what is that? Yeah, other side of town, that way. All right, uh, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs>
looking to buy a jack. What are you doing? What is this? I'm, I'm not getting two items. The Jack and the gingerbread house. Why are you charging me for the gingerbread house? You broke it. Store policy. Really? Uh, I, I didn't even think it was for sale. It's just a display. Yeah. That'll be 9521. 90. Fine. Can I get a receipt? Uh, what the hell is this? What's what? Right here. Right here, on the right, where it says inconvenience fee, 1050. What is that? My shelves are 10 tiers high. Anything above shelf six requires a step ladder, and your jack was on shelf seven. An inconvenience fee of ten fifty. You go through your daily routine, following orders, acting in accordance with what society deems normal. But you never stop to think who you crush along the way, sitting on your buggy, allowing the bottom feeders and the leeches to pull you along. You are the leech. Just tell me what you want. Give me your wallet. Give me your wallet. But I digress. Where's your complacency now? This is. Probably a point you wouldn't have even fathomed experiencing. Once you fall off the stagecoach, you can never get back on the line. Hey, goddess, this isn't even a real gun. Give me back my wallet, you asshole!
You don't know where Jim's towing is, do you? Yeah, I do, but... But, but what? What's it worth to me? Okay, I, uh, I don't know, um... How about a watch? You want this watch? <laughs> really like that jacket you got there. Nope! I'm sorry, um... Oh, yeah. You cannot imagine what I've been through today to get this, sir. Won't tell you otherwise. Yep. Yep. All right, fine. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Can I get the address? Uh, 34, 92, 22nd Street, Southeast. Okay, so that's where Jim's towing is, right? What you asked for, Tim's mowing. Great long cap. Uh, Jim's towing or Tim's mowing? What you want? Tim's mowing. Okay. Hey, that was the wrong address, and I'm gonna need that jack back, okay? Hell no! Uh, okay, so no! You need the jack! No! Just no! give me the jack! I just no! wanna see John no! Saxon! No! Why is it so difficult? No! You can't! No! 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 Bullshit! 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 years watching my friends die in war while you sat at home shitting your pants! Yeah! Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Jim's towing is? Oh, Jesus. 
I know where Jim's towing is. <laughs> You know what Jim's tone is, Bro, right? Get off me. I don't even know what you're talking Just about. Just tell me what Jim's tone is, for Christ's sake! I don't know. I don't know! I don't know! What the hell is wrong with you people? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this town? I mean, come on! Does anybody here want to help me out? Does anybody you want to help me out? Huh? Why doesn't anybody out here help me? Does anybody fucking care? Am I the only one seeing this? Calm down, Scooby-Doo. God damn it! such an honor to meet you finally. I was wondering if uh, I could possibly get your uh, autograph there. Oh, shaky. <laughs> Can you say uh, to Brayden? <laughs> oh. You go through your daily routine. Buggy, allowing the bottom feeders and the leechers to pull you along. Oh. You are the leecher. Oh, where's your complacency now? This is probably no. a point you wouldn't have even fathomed experiencing. Once you fall off the stage, coach, you can never get back on. Give me your wallet. Give me your wallet. Yeah. The blind guy. Hey! Just oh, damn it! Can I ever finish? I want my fucking wallet back. Shit!
fix the tire for an additional fee. How much extra? 200 bucks. Well, then what's the total cost? 450. <sighs> well, I'm gonna level with you here. It doesn't appear that I have a dime to my name. <laughs> I figured so. Heartless, isn't she? Who? Oh. Meadow Mean. Is this town always this cruel? Only to people she likes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lovely way of showing it. Good to know that you understand what I've been through. <laughs> Can you just give me a break? Just give me my car and just let me get out of here? This ain't no charity, kid. You'll get your car back when I get my money. No, you don't seem to understand. I actually need this car right now. <laughs> of course you do. Look, I'm not some sort of con artist. I'm just trying to meet... Oh, never mind, you wouldn't understand. John Saxon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd, how'd you know? <laughs> I saw the picture in your car. There ain't no celebrities for at least a hundred miles. Where are you headed to? My dad's funeral. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. I'm sure you and your dad were real close. Hey, don't you ever talk like that. I, I loved my father. And yet, the whole reason you need your car is to go see a celebrity? Well, wait just a minute. That's not entirely the truth. I just... Well, I just came out here and... Well, I, I just was trying to just... Miss Just give me my car. Well, if meeting Mr. Saxon is that important to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.